Today, all of you, in this class, I'll explain Wiener Kinchin relation. Wiener Kinchin relation, I can say the statement is autocorrelation function and power spectral density. Form Fourier transform pair. Okay, so this is a statement autocorrelation function and power spectral density form Fourier transform pair. This is nothing but Wiener Kinchin relation. Okay, now let us go for proof. Let us start with the uh, White Sun stationary process. For a White Sun stationary process, And another thing is, you have to consider the ergodic also for a white sun stationary process and also for ergodic. Yes, the relation A of Rxx of T comma T plus tau is equal to A of What is this? Rxx of t comma t plus tau, we know that it is autocorrelation function. What is A of time average? Time average of autocorrelation function is equal to, so again keep A here. Autocorrelation function general formula is expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau. Okay, so time average of Autocorrelation function, ensemble autocorrelation function is nothing but your autocorrelation function. This happens only when the process is white sun stationary and also ergodic. Okay, so now we are, we are going to use this main relation to prove the concept autocorrelation function and PST forms Fourier transform pair. Okay, now consider. Yes, we already defined this SXX of omega. What is XX of omega? I can say PSD. Consider PSD SXX of omega. We have this definition. This is the second definition of your PSD. We know it already. Okay. Yes, what is this XT of omega? Xt of omega is nothing but the Fourier transform of x of omega in the range minus t comma t. Okay, so now what is this Xt of omega whole square? You can write it as Xt of omega into Xt star of omega. What is star? Conjugate. Because it is magnitude square, you can write it like Xt of omega into xt star of omega okay complex numbers can be multiplied or you'll get the magnitude value only when if you take the second one as conjugate okay now let xt of omega as integral minus t to t because i told you already this is the fourier transform of x of t in the limits minus t to t so let it be x of t1 into e power j omega t1 dt1. This is xt of omega. And now take xt star of omega as integral minus t to t x of t2 e power minus j omega t2 t2. See here carefully. We already Yes, consider the process as white sun stationary process. Means it has no connection with the time. You can take any time. Okay. So now if, if you take xt of omega as this, 
with respect to t1 if you define xt of omega. Yes, then xt star of omega becomes it is conjugate. So, whenever you have j, it becomes minus j. That is the first point. As there is no relation or uh, connection with the time, instead of t1, you can take t2 also. No problem in it. Okay. So, the conjugate is for j. So, minus j were taken. And as there is no connection with the time, instead of t1, you can take t2 also. Take, a, uh, take the equation numbers 1, that is 2, 3 and 4. Okay, now substitute 3 and 4 in 2. That implies, yes, xx of omega is equal to Limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t of, okay, instead of this you have to take this and xt of omega is this, xt star of omega is this. First you will substitute xt of omega. Integral minus t to t, x of t1 into e power j omega t1 dt1, okay. Integral minus t to t, then you do substitute this. x of t2 into e power minus j omega t2 dt2. You have this uh, expectation. Yes, you have this e. So, write e here. Expectation. Okay. So, now it becomes limit t tends to infinite. 1 by 2t. So, if you take this expectation inside, then you can apply expectation only to the random process, the random process here or x of t1 and x of t2. Okay. So, now take the integrations outside. Okay. Then expectation of x of t1 into x of t2, okay, here you have e power j omega t1, here you have e power minus j omega t2. So, simply you take e power minus j omega, then you can write it as t2 minus t1, e t2 and d t1. Again, you can write it as limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t integral minus t to t integral minus t to t. What is this? Is nothing but your autocorrelation t1 comma t2 rxx of t1 comma t2 into e power minus j omega of t2 minus t1 into d t2 and d t1. So, let it be equation number 5. Now, for this sxx of omega for PSD, consider inverse Fourier of PSD. Okay, now consider Inverse Fourier of PST that is inverse Fourier 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinite yes xx of omega e power j omega tau d omega ok what do you have to do now in place of s xx of omega you have to substitute already the derived result. What is the derived result? The derived result is this equation number 5. Okay. So, you have to substitute simply equation number 5 is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinite. Just we are substituting that equation number 5. 
limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t integral minus t to t integral minus t to t rxx of t1 comma t2 e power minus j omega of t2 minus t1 into dt2 dt1 e power j omega tau d omega yes now write like this limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t integral minus t to t integral minus t to t rxx of t1 comma t2 into 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinite e power minus j omega of t2 minus t1 dt2 dt1 e power j omega tau of t omega now for simplification t1 as t and t2 as t1 so now simply you rewrite the equation okay so now this becomes limit t tends to infinite 1 by t integral minus t to t integral minus t to t rxx of yeah t in the place of t1 take t in the place of t2 take t1 next 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinite to infinite e power minus j omega of in the place of t2 take t1 in the place of t1 take t so d t1 d t e power j omega tau d omega again rewrite the equation now here you take this e power j omega tau also so it becomes e power j omega of tau minus t1 plus t d omega dt1 and dt okay so now here this one see here this one it is like inverse Fourier of e power j omega t we know e power j omega t inverse Fourier is 2 pi into delta of t so in that way this is equivalent to 2 pi into delta of tau minus t1 plus t so this is like inverse Fourier of your u power j omega t which is nothing but 2 pi into delta of t okay so here uh, and but here is not t tau minus t1 plus t so simply 2 pi into delta of tau minus t1 plus t okay now substitute this here thus here and uh, yes by even symmetry by even symmetry you can write this 2 pi into delta of tau minus t1 plus tau as delta of as even symmetry just you can change the signs so okay minus t1 becomes plus t1 and plus t becomes minus t tau becomes minus tau so it implies 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinite s x x of e power j omega tau d omega is equal to limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t integral minus t to t integral minus t to t r x x of t comma t1 yes if you substitute this he, this and this place 2 pi 2 pi gets cancelled so it becomes delta of t1 minus t minus tau 
dt1 and dt okay so see here yes this one is nothing but you can write like this t1 minus of t plus tau means this variable is t1 and this delta exists at t plus tau so whenever this gets multiplied with the other uh, any other term that term also evaluated only at the existence of this delta we already know it where this delta is existing at t plus tau okay so in the place of t1 here you have to write t plus tau and you know the delta of t amplitude is 1 so totally limit tends to infinite 1 by 2 t integral minus t to t rxx of t comma in the place of t1 you have to substitute t plus tau dt okay so now what is this if you say this it is time average of the autocorrelation function rxx of t comma t plus tau because it is limit t tends to infinite 1 by 2t integral minus t to t. Okay. So now this is time average of autocorrelation function. Okay. We already started the process, started the derivation with this equation. A of rxx of t comma t plus tau is nothing but rxx of tau. Yes, it becomes rxx of tau. It becomes rxx of tau. Okay. What is this? This is nothing but Rxx of tau. Okay. So your autocorrelation function is, seems to be inverse Fourier of your PSD, Sxx of omega. So your PSD is, now you can get your PSD by going for Fourier transform of Rxx of tau. Hence, we can say autocorrelation function and power spectral density or Fourier transform pair. Okay. Hence, it is proved. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.